Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. It's been a day. I got off work, I played with my dog, I went to the gym, I put some makeup on, and then wanted to get this filmed. And then once I'm done filming, I can eat dinner. So today's video is going to be my September TBR. You know the drill with all this stuff, but these are gonna be all of the books that I'm planning on reading in September. I feel like this TBR is gonna be a little wonky, simply because several of the books I want to read don't come out until the end of September. So I don't really know if I'll be able to read them or not, but I added them on here because they're really highly anticipated releases for me. So I would like to get to them, but I have no idea how that's gonna look. And the other thing is I am flying to Hawaii. <laughs> in this random impromptu trip because my parents are going on a work trip and they invited me and so I am going for a few days. And the plane ride there is a little lengthy so hopefully I can get a lot of reading done during that time. But yeah, it's just kind of like a weird month. So with that being said, let me just get in here and tell you about the books that I'm planning on reading in September, even if it gets messed up along the way. I just looked at my TV and realized that I don't have a single one of these books in my possession yet physically because they're like on their way to me and they were pre-ordered or whatever. So there's gonna be a lot of pictures on the screen this time. So the first book that I would like to read in September is All of Our Demise by Amanda Foodie and Christine Lynn Herman. All of Us Villains was my favorite book of this year, I think. It was fantastic, five stars. And this is the second and last book in this duology, which is All of Our Demise. And I am pumped. I've actually already started listening to it and I already really like it. So hopefully it'll be a good ending to this duology. It kind of makes me nervous a little bit. I don't know if this happens to you. It kind of makes me nervous that it's a duology because I'm afraid it's not gonna wrap up well, but I'm sure they'll do a great job. But I'm just a little, a little nervous because I loved all of us villains so, so much. So hopefully this one is also a five-star read. If you don't know what All of Us Villains is about, a lot of people pitch it as a Hunger Games with magic, which I think makes a lot of sense. Basically every blood moon, which I think is like every once every 50 years or so, these seven different families pick a champion and that champion competes in a tournament to win high magic for their family. So whoever wins the tournament, their entire family can use high magic in whatever way they choose. And it's an extremely coveted and influential power. And so they're kind of seen as like celebrities. And the champions go in and they compete by killing one another so only one survives and that survivor is the one that gets the magic and it's just extremely well done amazing magic systems there's a book written about like all of the families it's just so good and so i love this duology so far and hopefully it wraps up well the second one if you didn't guess this who are you do you know me do you know my channel the next one is going to be the ballad of never after by stephanie garber I have an arc, so I'm already reading it. And I have started like trying to do a vlog. Please be kind to me when I post that because I've never vlogged before and I'm trying my best, but I already started it. I love it so far. Reading Stephanie Garber's writing just makes me feel so happy and at home. And I just like fly through it. And I feel like almost no other books give me the same feelings that her books do, which is probably why I love her books so much. They're just so cozy and fun and yet dangerous and magical and whimsical. I just really enjoy them and I'm loving this one so far too and can't wait to see what happens. So The Ballad of Never After is book two from Once Upon a Broken Heart. We have no idea if this is going to be a duology, if it's going to be a trilogy, if it's going to be a series. She's kind of keeping that a secret and I haven't read the end of the book yet so I don't know. But she was keeping it a secret until ev until the book is out and everybody has read it to reveal if it is a duology or a trilogy. She said it should be pretty clear at the end of the book, but she also said anybody that has an arc that reads it before publication date, she doesn't want them to share if it is a trilogy or a duology. So Once Upon a Broken Heart <laughs> is following Evangeline Fox and the boy that she loves is set to marry another and she believes this is against his will. And so she makes a deal with a fate which is kind of like a god or like a mythical character to stop the wedding. But she ends up getting deeper than she thought she was going to. And one of the rules of this land is to never make a deal with fate. So I loved the first book, fantastic. Loving the second book, can't wait to see what happens. Another book I would love to read in September is The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is the Lord of the Rings bind up trilogy. And I read The Fellowship of the Ring last year, I believe. If not, it was earlier this year. And I really, really liked it. So I would really like to get to The Two Towers and I need to finish this trilogy quickly. <laughs> but I wanted to get to The Two Towers, so I will plan on reading The Two Towers in September. And it's perfect timing because I just bought 
The Two Towers and the Return of the King audiobook narrated by Andy Serkis, who plays Smeagol, Gollum, in the movies. And I think he's going to be a fantastic narrator and it's going to be so good. I just bought those two audiobooks, so it's absolutely perfect, especially for this plane ride. The stars are just aligning. So I'm planning on reading that. If you don't know what Lord of the Rings is, where have you been living? Under a rock? Like, I just don't... If you've never heard of Lord of the Rings, I don't understand that. But anyway... Lord of the Rings is essentially, if you're boiling it down to a nutshell, is you're following hobbits who have this ring of power and they're going on a journey to destroy it. So I'm going to plan on reading Two Towers in September. The next one would be Demon in the Wood by Leigh Bardugo. This is the Darkling origin story, or maybe not origin story, but it's the Darkling extra story. So this is all about the Darkling and it is a graphic novel. So there was a little short story at the end of, I think it's the paperback of Ruin and Rising, which is called Demon in the Wood and it's about the Darkling. And this is that story, but adding content. So it's a longer story and in graphic novel form. So I cannot wait. I love the Darkling. He's my favorite character in the Grishaverse and the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And I can't wait to get more Darkling content. So this is absolutely fantastic. And it's a graphic novel. So I'm sure I can fly through this very quickly. Oh, I can't wait for it. I don't really know how to give you any context. If you don't know what the Grishaverse is or what Shadow and Bone is, it's essentially following people that are, that have abilities based on what class they are. So they can be a summoner. They can basically summon elements, they can troll matter like rocks, they can build things, it's more like chemistry, or they can control the body and like heal or stop hearts and stuff. But the Darkling has a special shadow magic and then there's this one person that is the sun summoner that can control the sun or light. And the goal is to destroy this fold, which is this giant chasm of darkness that has evil creatures in it that try to eat you, which is really inhibiting trade and causing a lot of rifts. So the Sun Summoner is the answer to that. And that's kind of what the Grisha trilogy is about in a very fast, crazy summary. But the Demon in the Wood focuses on the Darkling who has the shadow magic. And I just can't wait. It's fantastic. I love him so much. The next one would be The Golden Enclave by Naomi Novik. This is the third and final book in the Lessons of Scholomance trilogy, and I've really enjoyed them so far. I know a lot of people don't really like them, and it's not really their cup of tea, but I like them. I think they're kind of quirky and funny, and I enjoy it. And I'm very anxious to see how this trilogy wraps up, because book two had the craziest cliffhanger, and I was so mad at Naomi Novik, and so I need a resolution ASAP. If you don't know what this series is about, the first book is A Deadly Education, where basically you go into this school and you either graduate or you die. So while you're studying magic and doing all of this stuff, there are monsters throughout the school that are trying to kill you as you're going through your classes and whatnot. And a big part of survival is making friends so they can watch your back, like when you're showering or whatever, so these monsters don't get you. And the main character is kind of brash and vicious and no nonsense and so she doesn't have a lot of friends and so she kind of tries to start making friends so she can survive and i'm curious to see what's going to happen because if you read book two you know what happens at the end so i'm curious how they're going to continue the story but very anxious to get to resolution of this next up would be kingdom of the feared by carrie Maniscalco. This is book three in the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy and the final book in this trilogy. So I'm trying to finish a lot of series at the moment. <laughs> I read Kingdom of the Wicked a year or so ago and I loved it. And I really loved Kingdom of the Cursed as well. And I can't wait to read this and see more of this world because it's really fun for me. I know not everyone's a big fan of it. I really enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. I like the different elements of the hell and the demon princes. It's just, I just really enjoy it. So very, very anxious to get to the end of that series as well. If you don't know what Kingdom of the Wicked is about, essentially you're following Amelia who has a twin sister and her twin sister ends up brutally murdered and she's not sure who was to blame, but she thinks something dark and evil is behind it. And so she summons a demon and kind of requests his help, demands his help, ropes him into helping her solve this murder. And they kind of go on this mission together to solve the murder because he is also interested in what happened with this as well. She's also a witch and that's kind of hidden from the rest of society because witches are seen as evil. And so she teams up with Prince Wrath because they're all like one of the deadly sins and they try to solve her twin's murder and maybe other things happen as well. I really liked it. Do not read this book if you're not prepared to be starving for Italian food. 
The second one's not that bad. There's like some food descriptions that are great. I really like the food descriptions. But the first one, like don't read it unless you're planning on getting Italian food at some point during your reading journey because I was so hungry when I was reading it. The next one would be Bella Donna by Adeline Grace. I'm really excited about this book. I don't know a whole lot about it. I can't remember all of the plot from the top of my head, but I know that the girl in it makes a deal with death, who's like death personified, and I'm all about that. Anytime that's a plot, give it to me. I love it. I think it's a YA fantasy romance. I don't know. All I know is that she makes a deal with death and I'm here for it. I think there may be something going on with like poison, like people are poisoning her family, poisoning other people, and she's also trying to solve that mystery behind it, which makes sense why it's called Belladonna, because Belladonna is a poisonous plant. But yeah, clearly it's been a while since I've read that synopsis, but I do remember Death being a character and that's pretty much why I wanted to read it. So that's why I remember it. But yeah, curious about that. That has released and I believe my pre-ordered copy is on the way to me. So hopefully I get it soon and can start it. And the final book that I will be reading in September or trying to read in September would be my shelf pick. If you've been watching my channel the last few months, I try to usually do a shelf pick, which is like all the books on my sprayed edges shelves. Some of them are not on this shelf, like some of them are interspersed throughout, but I decided to try to read more book box books, which most of them have sprayed edges, instead of them just sitting there and looking pretty. So I have my little handy dandy jar and I put all of them in here. And then every month I draw one out. There was a couple months where this didn't happen because I had a book picked out already, or I was doing a different type of challenge of a genre and it didn't fit into that genre. But we're gonna pick it up again this month, so hopefully it's a good one. I'm a little nervous. Okay. Okay, so we got the Stardust Thief. So let me go ahead and grab that. So this was one of Fairy Loot's adult books, so I have a whole video on unboxing this and the synopsis. But this is The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. And I believe this is A Thousand and One Nights Retelling. And this is a gripping tale about a legendary thief, a cowardly prince, and a dangerous quest across the desert to find a magical lamp. And I believe the thief in this story also has a djinn bodyguard, so this just sounds fantastic. Kind of like a spin on the Aladdin story, which is A Thousand and One Nights. But I've actually heard really great things about this recently from people picking it up and reading it, so I hope that I enjoy it as much as they do. Hopefully I will be able to get to it. But yeah, this is a great pick, and it's an adult fantasy, which I'm trying to get into more of. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for today's video. Please comment down below what books you're planning on reading in September. And if you want my thoughts on any of the books I'm planning on reading, please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. Bye.